Lesson 4.8, Rewrite Two-Digit Edition. There are two different ways to write addition problems. We can write them horizontal. We write the add-ins as a number sentence in which the add-ins are across from each other in a row. It's a number sentence. We can also write them vertical. We write the add-ins stacked one above the other in place value columns. It's important that we line up the digits of the add-ins in columns so we will add ones with ones and tens with tens. If we write it sloppy like this, we're not going to add the correct numbers together. We could make a mistake. We need to line up the ones with the ones and the tens with the tens, so we add the ones to the ones and the tens to the tens. We can even turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep the place values in their correct column. We need to rewrite the addition problem, then add. We have 32 plus 19. First, we write 32 with the 3 in the tens column and the 2 in the ones column. We do the same for 19. We put the 1 in the tens column and the 9 in the ones column. The next thing we do, step 2, is we add the ones. 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. 11 is 110, 1, 1. We regroup the 110 into the tens column and write the 1 in the ones column. Then we add the tens. 3, 4, 5. We write the 5 in the tens place. 32 plus 19 is equal to 51. We need to rewrite the addition problem, then add. We have 39 plus 6. We write 39. When we add 6, there's no tens. That's 6 ones, so we put the 6 in the ones place. Now we add the ones. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. 15 is 110, 5 ones. We regroup the 10 and write the 5 1s into the 1s column. Now we add the 10s. 3 plus 1 is 4. 39 plus 6 is equal to 45. Let's try it with this one. We have 47 plus 18. We write the 47. Now we write the 18 with the 1 in the 10s place and the 8 in the 1s place. Draw a line with a plus sign. We add the ones first. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. That's 110, 5 ones. Then we add the tens. 4, 5, 6. We remember to add that regrouped 10. 47 plus 18 is equal to 65. We made sure our columns were straight, so we were adding the correct numbers to each other. Sometimes the add-ins will be easy to add without rewriting them into columns. Like when we're adding a tens number, we have 36 plus a tens number. This is 40. It's four tens. We can just add four more tens to the 36 using mental math. Four more tens, that would be three plus four, that would be seven tens, six ones. It's equal to 76. It's also easy to add without rewriting them into columns when the digits have a low value and regrouping isn't necessary. If we're adding 21 plus 21, we can add the tens together first. Two tens and two tens is four tens. And one plus one is equal to two. 21 plus 21 is equal to 42. So mental math is easier when we're adding just tens, like a tens number, or when the digits have a very low value and we can just quickly add them using mental math. Here we have a word problem that involves a chart of information. Let's look at this chart. It says tulip bulbs. And the colors are red, yellow, white, purple, and it says number per box. That means there are 24 tulip bulbs that are red in a box, 
There are 36 yellow in a box, there's 28 white in a box, and 12 purple in a box. Mr. Kim wants to plant 52 tulip bulbs. Which two colors should he buy to have 52? And we think we need to find two numbers in the table that have a sum of 52. And looking at the tens, then ones can help. And we can solve it using mental math. If he buys red and yellow ones, we have two tens plus three tens, that's five tens. He needs 52. We're already at 50. By the time we add the ones, that'll be too many, so it's not red and yellow. We can try yellow and white. 30 and 20 is 50, but by the time we add the ones, that's going to be too much. That's going to be more than 52. And if we add white and purple, 20 and 10 is 30. By the time we add the ones, that's 40. That's not enough. We could try red and white. We have 20 and 20 would be 40. Then when we add the ones, we have four ones and eight ones, that's 12. Well, we have 40 plus 12, and that works. It looks like he would need to buy the red and the white. We can add them to be sure. We've got 24, that's the red ones. And we can do 28 white. We add the ones place first. Four plus eight is 12. We regroup the one, put the two down, and then we add the tens, two, four, five. It is 52. So the two colors he should buy to have 52 tulip bulbs should be red and white. When we add on paper, we start by adding the ones place first. 5 plus 5 is 10. We regroup the 10 and write the 0 in the 1's place. Then we add the 10's. 4, 5, 6, 10's. It's equal to 60. When we add using mental math, it may be easier to begin adding the greatest place value first. To add 45 plus 15, we think 40 plus 10 is equal to 50. Then we add the 5 plus 5, which is 10, and do 50 plus 10 is equal to 60. So remember when using mental math, it may be easier to begin adding the greatest place value first, but when we add on paper, we start with the ones place. Let's try some test preparation. Chris saved 37 pennies. Tala saved 47 pennies. How many pennies did the two children save? We think we need to find their sum. We need to add 37 and 47, and we need to choose one of these as the answer. We can write 37, and we can line up the columns and put 47 very neatly stacked nicely with tens and ones like that. We can add the ones place. Seven plus seven is a doubles. Seven plus seven is 14, which is one ten, four ones. We have three plus four is seven, plus one more is eight. And we see the answer is 84. It's right here. We fill in the dot. We make sure we fill it in completely. And we have the answer. Remember, it's very important to line up your columns perfectly. Tens above tens and ones above the ones. You can turn a piece of lined paper sideways to keep your columns in order. Our next lesson, 4.9, we're going to do some word problem solving and we're going to see how drawing a diagram can help us solve a word problem. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.